relationships that you would have uh, been more gentle with or more firm with or more harsh about? Uh, what are your thoughts? When I think back, um, during those four years, you mean uh, if I would do something differently towards the spiritual path? Yeah, so you're related made, to the spiritual path. You have made a, a number of decisions over the last four years that have eventually culminated in bringing you over here. Uh, would you have done something different about those decisions? No. Everything was perfectly arranged. That's the, uh, when, I, when I think about it, I could have changed something or some of the decisions, maybe be uh, milder what, whatsoever to people, but no, actually not, because um, I had to go through the trouble actually to, because as I mentioned, it was a preparation to come here. Uh, it's uh, Krishna arranged everything. It's like, bam, bam, bam. You have to experience this, 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 this. And basically, uh, f from my point of view, uh, the way I was looking is was through the Vedas. This doesn't fit, you know, you repel it. That's it. You, you don't hang on to it. You know, it doesn't fit, doesn't fit, doesn't suit uh, the purpose. You know, you, you don't, um, you don't get to attach to it. And, uh, and uh, even when I talked about Raji, and this is uh, what he said, you know, when you see it through the scriptures, you know, you will see it clearly. And this is what I did. I, I saw everything clearly, uh, what, what happens. Even, um, and uh, this is what, um, uh, basically, I, I don't know, to change them, it's like, to change the decisions I did, so it's like, no, not really. If I would uh, change the decisions, I would, um, for example, uh, to come here faster, that's what you said, right? Or to, um, but I couldn't even come here faster. For example, uh, it took me four years to, uh, to, to reach to the esoteric teaching. So I, di I didn't know the esoteric teaching at all. The first video was after four years I saw it. So it's like the only decision I had uh, was, I made was to go to India, which was, uh, you can't even say it's bad. You know, it's a, from, from a materialistic point of view, it's very bad because my parents kicked me out the next day. I was like, oh, <laughs> you know? But from, uh, from a spiritual point of view, I, I was released from the jurisdiction of my parents, you know? So that, give, that gave me a much more, um, uh, more space, actually, to, to actually get the things together. The, my spiritual uh, thinking, my uh, spiritual path came in pla place very nicely afterwards. So again, it's like I was not able to arrange something like that, right? So it's like because uh, I don't have much, uh, or I didn't have much uh, confidence at that time. Like uh, even my parents kicked me out, I would still go to India, you know, and keep it this way. No, it's, it's all Krishna's arrangement. So he said, uh, he says, no, you don't want to go there. So you just go, have to finish up here, and then you will move on. So and this is what happened. It will, afterwards, everything came in place very nicely. So uh, there is uh, no decision from um, from this perspective I would change. Actually, if it would be much mat something material, yeah, I would change many things. But spiritual, no, because Krishna is guiding everything, anyways. So. If if Krishna is making all the arrangements, all the spiritual decisions in our lives, yeah. then what do we have to do? You. Or like, what do we or you or us as devotees? If Krishna is directing us, then what? Well, oh, we have to listen to him. Ah. That's the point. If you don't listen, it's like how can he guide you, right? It's like uh, now I'm um, because of my uh, determination or stubbornness. Uh, you know, I, I have I don't have a big problem with it, but um, now I have to uh, redo it, re relearn it, because. Uh, if uh, a devotee tells me now something to do this or you do this or you know, I would uh, automatically no, say no. I don't think so. <laughs> but uh, this is just uh, this was the armor, the shield for the material things. Now I'm in, a, as Babaji says, you're in a safe place, so you know you can take off the armor. But uh, the uh, devotees, uh, what they have to do is again, they have to listen to the to Krishna. He talks through the heart. He talks uh, through Babaji, the spiritual master, because he represents the super soul, and Krishna talks through the scriptures. Now, if you don't listen to uh, the spiritual master, you don't listen to the scriptures, you don't listen to your heart, what's going to happen? You're just in a material mindset. And material mindset, what does that mean? Oh, pain and suffering, right? So, so this is what the devotee has to do. Listen to Krishna, because, uh, you know, because you work for Krishna, you serve him, you, 
with love and devotion. And basically what's going to happen is um, once you achieve a pure state of serving or loving, then you become like Babaji. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is the, the whole point. And uh, what I thought is uh, you're asking is what uh, uh, the devotees have to do with me then. Or no, no, Krishna. I'm just asking like any, any student in their life. Oh, any student, okay. Yeah, because, this Krish is because Krishna is definitely, you know, he's guiding and putting oh us yeah. into certain, circ certain circumstances oh just yeah. for our own growth and benefit. Like for you, yeah. uh, you said you had to go through those four years of transformation before you were ready yeah. to. I had to. It's, uh, it was completely perfect. If, uh, if I look at this point now, it's like, at the past, it's like, yeah, it's, uh, it, it, it has to be like this. If it wouldn't be like this, it would be something else. But, mm -hmm. uh, you know, this, is, this was personally done for, for me. So, and again, who arranged it? Myself? No, it was all Krishna. So. And the only thing we have to do is just listen to him. And uh, there are different ways. I, I would always listen to my gut feeling. And uh, when I was reading the New Age literature, I would think, yeah, because gut feeling is your soul talking to you. you know, this is how they write it. Yeah, yeah, but actually it's Krishna talking to you through the heart. It's not the, the God feeling it. No, it's like he talks to you. He tells you, do this. Even if your logic says, don't do this, you have to do this because your heart tells you. And your heart, who is that? The super soul, that's Krishna again, right? He tells you, no, you have to do this because Krishna sees the whole picture. I don't see the whole picture, only he can see it. So, and the only thing uh, which we can do is only listen. You should punish it. Sit down and listen. <laughs> so as as uh, the last concluding part of this uh, interview is that uh, if you were to give advice out to students out there, new students who are going through the spiritual awakening mm -hmm. and are dealing with all this conflict in their lives, uh, I have to do this, but that <coughs> means that this other part will, you know, fall into trouble. Balancing their spiritual and material lives, if there is such a thing, and uh, what advice would you give them uh, that you think will help someone on their path? Well, the only advice I can uh, give is, um, again, determination, because this is what I experienced. But, uh, you see, uh, people have different situations, um, different circumstances. So that means uh, they might have, um, uh, they might have uh, a wife or a husband who is spiritually, more spiritually inclined than, you know, and uh, they might... Um, have some support from them so I never had any support from anyone so, you know, so I, I had to be a little bit firm on my decisions but uh, everyone uh, out there the, the, stu the other students they have a, a completely different uh, lifestyle a completely different mindset a completely different um, uh, freedom of choice so it, it really depends on, on their situation so the only advice I can I can give actually is uh, you know listen to Krishna you know read the scriptures uh, chant uh, listen to Babaji if you're on the forum so listen if you don't listen it's like this is the first step listening uh, this is um, the opposite of speculation speculation and uh, it's listening so if you listen actually then you will receive the results and this is how the process goes it's very logical. It's a descending, right? So first you listen, then you do it, and then you feel the results. But um, if you go into speculations again, it's like you should not do that. Because speculations will drag you to different uh, things. Like, um, what is it? Um, the one, conspiracy theory, right? It's like it's a big thing. It's like everyone talks about it. <laughs> so don't, don't go there. Don't go anywhere. You know, you just sit down and listen, read follow the scriptures, you know, even if you have a bad situation uh, or many oppo opposing forces, you know, you have to get through them somehow or the other way because uh, every individual has a unique ability to handle um, uh, critical situations. So this is what uh, Krishna gives to every, this is what I realized actually, to every living being, he gives a certain set of uh, tools to handle their life. And they can approach their life spiritually or materialistic. And uh, the, the first thing is uh, also to find out what you're capable of. Like uh, for, for me, it was like um, this uh, uh, stubbornness, right? And uh, I was always wondering, why am I so stubborn? You know, what, what's the reason for that? And what was the reason for that? 
it's very simple to come here, you know, you know, just be determined, you know, to this path and but uh, not everyone is stubborn, so but this is my point of view, this is my experience. So someone uh, someone else would be very intelligent or very logical and they can implement imp or apply their logic into this. So into their path at the beginning or uh, there might be whatever, different talents, different characters, so it, it really depends. The person, the student uh, has to know or to learn to, to know himself, self-knowledge. This is actually the, the, the first assignment, right, in the intro course. So, mm -hmm. so if, you, if you know your aspects, your abilities, capabilities, you can actually implement them in spiritual life. That way they won't generate any karma. So this, this, this is like the best advice I can give so, right now. And chant the holy name, this is like even better. <laughs> <laughs> Just, everything else will come. <laughs>